Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, come join Hawaiian Shirt Papa as he visits the Salvation Army Thrift Store in Caledonia. Now this is the same video, but there's more of it in this particular one. The first one is a much shorter version. And in this one we will actually see a Hawaiian shirt. It took me a while to get my bearings. I haven't been in this one for a while because of COVID. And these are uh, healthcare workers usually wear that kind of thing. It took me a moment to realize, hey, this is all just the women's stuff. I have to get past here. But you had to be sure because sometimes stores kind of start with one and finish with another. But uh, no, this was definitely a whole row of women's clothes. And it's not a huge store. It's a somewhat smaller store. No furniture at this one. If you're looking for furniture, this is not the place to come. They've got some housewares. Um, as you can see, they're just mainly vases and, and other decorative items. There is a section of books that's coming up. It's not even a lot of the decorative stuff, really. So uh, it's more geared towards, I guess, clothing. There's some fabrics and shawls and throws, and then there's the book section. It's a reasonably good selection of books. And some of the children's books, and then they have magazines. Oh, some patterns for knitting in there too. There may be other types of is that. Yeah, so they've got knit, knit throws and blankets and comforters. And, yeah, that'll help you get through. Some decor there. Some more clothing. I think this may have been the men's clothes. Not quite convinced. And this little nook here is all women's slightly nicer items. And then they have their purses hanging over here. And then the front of the store again, where we have the some artwork. Uh, that's actually a clock that we did pick up. It's coming up to a still of it so you can take a better look. Had to change the motor in it. No, the motor was okay. The hands were shot. They were bent. So the motor was fine. I check on coats just in case because uh, coats wear inside and outside. I look at t-shirts. Not too many of them anymore. I got a huge amount of those. But here we are. We have a Hawaiian shirt. it out I'll be checking it over I'm looking to see if there's something else along here this is probably more like a business or a more demure version of a Hawaiian shirt like a in Hawaii it would probably be used as a business shirt rather than the one I did take which is f far more colorful And just making sure sometimes the edges don't look like a Hawaiian shirt, but they, the front of them are. 
think I got both of these with me in the end. No reason I'd like to update what I am wearing. So there's some that I do purchase just for sale, some of them I purchase to actually use. It was a nice piece. I needed something that wasn't quite so um, colorful. There are times when you don't want to be overly colorful. Certain business meetings are of that nature. Yeah, they're in pretty good shape. I always check for wear on the cuffs and the collars and the bottom hems and around the buttons and so on and so forth. This is the front glass showcase that uh, was in the earlier video. So if you've seen this one, um, it's been cut differently, I suspect. So you might be able to focus on something a little more or not so much. There were some collector cards and a binder on the top there. And the lower shelves didn't have a whole heck of a lot. So, yeah. I hope you're able to uh, subscribe to the channel. Keep watching these. I know this is a re partially a repeat, but I don't think I'll have many more of those kind of things. So, thanks. Bye.